ओके नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज रोल ऑफ कमर्शियल बैंक इन ए डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमी दैट इज हाउ डज ए बैंक दैट इज कमर्शियल बैंक हेल्प इन हेल्प इन अ डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमी वाट आर इट्स मेन रोल्स सो द फर्स्ट वन इज कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन सो मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इज कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन सो बैंक हेल्प इन हेल्प इन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ क्रेडिट और कैपिटल ठीक है so with the help of a capital we can get economic development so the first important function of a commercial bank is formation of capital next one is encouragement to entrepreneurial innovations and monetization of economy so with the facilities provided by banks it uh, provides loans to various sectors in reduced interest rates which helps the uh, weaker section of the society to uh, develop themselves then monetization of economy is essential for acceleration trade and growth banks which are creators and distributors of money allow money to play an active role in the economy so they also help in monetization of economy because when we keep money with the bank it is it becomes accountable so that's why it is called monetization influencing economic activity and implementation of monetary policy so economic activities are influenced mainly by money and money is being dealt by bank so in this way banks influence economic activity and implementation of monetary policy economic development needs an appropriate monetary policy but a well developed banking system is a necessary precondition for the effective okay you see what are monetary policy monetary policies are those policies which are involved in the demand and supply of money so any policy regarding the change in the demand as well as supply of money is regarded as monetary policy now the monetary policy is directly related to money and money is directly related to the banks so whenever there is a change of monetary policy our new policies are implemented it is being done by banks promotion of trade and industry use of bank check bank draft etc are used for the uh, payment process and all and which helps in the trade in uh, development of trade and industry okay various kinds of payment methods are provided by banks which help in the smooth functioning of this industries and trading next we have regional development banks also play an important role in achieving balanced development in different regions of the economy they can transfer surplus capital from the developed region to the less developed regions where it is scarce and mostly needed okay understood so basically we see that uh, branches are opened in the uh, interior areas so that funds can be transferred from the developed areas and lastly development of agriculture and other neglected sectors banks in the underdeveloped countries have been paying more attention to trade and commerce and have almost uh, uh, sorry attention to trade and commerce and have almost neglected agriculture and industry the banks must diversify their activities not only to extend credit to trade but also to provide more medium term okay basically this point wants to explain that uh, the agricultural sectors need to be properly addressed and more branches uh, should be opened in areas where agriculture is the main source of livelihood also various kinds of uh, nowadays uh, this uh, loans on uh, low interest rate then various kinds of schemes are available for the uh, local people okay 